Hello and welcome. In today's video, we're going to be taking a look at cable modem levels. So if your internet provider is, say, Comcast, Xfinity, Cox Communication, Spectrum, then you have a cable modem. And if you want to check the signal on your cable modem, you can log into it. You can log into the status page. All you need to do is type in the IP address right here, 192. 168.100.1 and you should be greeted with a status page just like this could be a little bit different it's going to depend on the manufacturer and the model of your modem if you get a login just google the default login for it and you should be able to get into it in my case there is no login i type in this ip address it instantly greets me with this page um, so we're going to be going through this so you know what you're looking at and when you log into your modem, you'll have, be able to have a good idea of where things should be. So the first column here, we just have a list of all the different channels that the modem is bound or bonded to on the downstream. So these are all downstream channels, and you can see the frequency they operate on. But the first thing we want to be looking at is the power level. Now, each modem manufacturer is going to have its own range for these numbers to be in and for each model modem but most isps uh i've worked for a couple different ones they want they have their own range which is more strict so i'm going to give you the numbers that i have experience dealing with uh where where the isps want these numbers to end up being and for the power levels it's between a minus 10 and a positive 10 you know, ideally you would want this number to be between a minus 5 and a positive 5, and 0 is the perfect number that you're aiming for. So if we take a look at all of the levels that I am running on these channels, you'll be able to see I have very good power levels. Now if your power level is out of range, it's too high, it's sitting at a positive 15, that's easy to fix. Usually you can attenuate it as long as there's no tilt in the signal. Um, well, there, you still should be able to, depending on your cable company's ISP and what they have for attenuators, but I'm not going to get too far into that. Um, we're just going to be taking a cursory look over the, the numbers and you know what might be some ways to fix it. Now, the other thing is if this is too low, uh, you, you and you have a lot of TVs in the house, it could just be your splitter config needs to be reconfigured and you need to give priority to the modem. Uh, the other reason it could be low is because you have a bad line and it needs to be replaced. So moving on to signal to noise ratio, um, you can see these numbers are all good as well. Uh, you know, you, from my experience, you really want this to be over a 38. I've seen it down in the 30 range um, working without issue, but I like to see this number over a 38. You can see that my numbers are all good here as well. Now this is where my modem has a problem, my signal has a problem. These correcteds, these are high, these are really high. This is very, very bad. This is showing a big problem with either my signal or the modem itself. Now I've gone through and checked all my indoor wiring. All my lines are good. All the fittings are good. So my problem could be on the outside where the it could be the drop itself, it could be the tap up on the pole, or the problem could still be just the, a bad modem. It's reading these levels poorly. So it's impossible to tell. So if you see um, any issues with these numbers, you have to get a trouble call tech to come out and take a look at it for you. He's going to need to hook a meter up to determine where the problem falls. And that's what I am going to need to be doing because I am seeing issue with the, the service here. So I am getting higher than expected latency and the signal is completely dropping out a lot a lot of buffering that should not be happening. Um, so I definitely have an issue and it is showing up on the modem on this page. These numbers are very bad. Now it's okay if you have a few correcteds. Um, there is error correction. 
and it, it's you're going to get corrupt packets once in a while and as as long as they're not too corrupt they can be fixed um, you you don't want to be seeing a lot of uncorrectables because that means the packets are so corrupt they can't even be fixed and and that's where you're going to be seeing uh, a loss of signal so moving on down here upstream channels responded to four channels here and we would be looking at the power level to make sure that we're in an acceptable range uh, so again this depends on manufacturer I mean this could work anywhere from 30 to 55 but from all of the ISPs I've worked for they wanted to see this number between a 38 and a 50 so that's the range that you would be looking to achieve here with your upstream channels um, the other thing I'll point out on this page is uh, you can see your LAN the Ethernet port on the back of your cable modem which normally would be you know feeding your router you can check to make sure it's connected full duplex and at gigabit because if, if you are running speed tests and you're not getting your full speed or you're you know if say you got 400 and you're only pulling a hundred or less um, and all these numbers up here look good and check out check to make sure you don't have a faulty ethernet cable feeding your modem and if it's connected at half duplex and only a hundred megabit that could be your problem those you know a lot of times those ethernet cables can be bad and you know a, a couple pairs broken in them and then it's only going to connect at half duplex and you're not going to get the full speed so yeah it's just a few things if you have a cable modem it's worth checking out make sure your signal is good um, if you've been having problems like me it's it's a good idea to go in there and verify it screenshot it so when the trouble call technician shows up you can show them if it has reset itself by the time he gets there because sometimes this will this will reset like you could reset it right there and then these would all go back to zeros again um, and sometimes it just does it by itself so if it doesn't update um, so it's a good idea to screenshot it so that he can see it. They should have all that data themselves too, um, but doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt because you never know who's going to show up at your door if they're going to be any good or not. Um, so yeah, if you have any questions or comments on this, feel free to reach out to me through the the comment section down below or on my Telegram. Thank you for watching, and you have a nice day.